Don't know how much time we got on this, but it isn't going to be much. Let me go juice this up. Hang on a second. And hopefully, I don't know if I'm live or if you can see me. Okay, so we got the new screen in, and try to bring this other phone back up. Uh, okay, so new screen is in. Let's see if it flows now. like this could be a little on the low side that's better and just looking at these parts I don't see any reason to not use them so if for whatever reason this is running crappy then I can take this back apart but I really don't think that's going to be the case on there it's all pretty clean inside so little screws here bring me up here so I can see the comments Brian, two, four, eight bees. Hey, Leonard. I don't know how long we're going to be back for, because I don't know how long the, uh, the juice is going to last. But uh, it's okay. i got to go to bed anyway. <laughs> Just putting this carburetor back together. dirty but it doesn't look bad at all some of this stuff gets awful stretched out and whatnot but it seems like it's fine actually let's see where's the the impulse line here let's make sure that's not gunked nope that's good My compressor, tiny, it does 90 pounds, but it's tiny, why? It's, it's literally an old dental compressor, and it's from the 50s, and it's going to go for another thousand years, but it's small, very low volume. Why do you ask?
put together my whole shed with it. I mean, I, I have a uh, an auxiliary air tank, so it uh, it takes a, like 20 minutes, 30 minutes to get up to pressure to 80, 90 pounds. But once it does, I can use the nail gun. Bang, 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 bang. Have a cup of coffee. Use the nail gun again. Yeah, a couple of reasons I don't use the air. It's it's down here in the basement, so. I mean, the basement's not really sacred, but. I use air outside to blow off parts, but it does take a long time to uh, recoup. Hopefully that carburetor is good. Let's get this on the saw and call it a night. And I need a new gasket. Need a new gasset, but we'll use one. So I got one. I got one. Yeah. A little bit of blue Loctite for the long bolts here. I'm going to put it Pretty sure they intentionally made this tricky to do. Take care, Leonard. Now these are 70 millimeter bolts, they're M5s, 70 millimeters. I bought a whole pile of these off of eBay, so I have them, just because I'm weird like that. Okay. 
pretty good for that. So I'm going to trim the fuel line a little bit. Grease it. How are we doing on battery here? Doesn't say. Sometimes you gotta kind of pull it on. Because I mentioned that OEM line kind of drives me nuts sometimes. Okay. Pull it back through here. Because it's a little too long. Loves to kink. There. So the fuel line going, it almost needs to be almost straight. A nice curve kind of internally there. That's always good. Uh, uh, choke. Click. Throttle wire. blue. You can break these, by the way. Um, idle screws. Actually, a gray piece first. No longer, uh, 394s are no longer made. So that is not a easy piece to find. There you go. There's your idle. That works pretty good. Need two screws here. I think I had them. Actually, I'm put these carburetor parts away. These are longer screws, probably 25 30 millimeter. Double check your count the carburetor bolts. You gotta be freaking tight. Tight. Good. Carburetor's there. Good to go. If I get an ignition coil, I mean, we can get this whole dang thing uh, up and running. Ah, the air horn.
the ear horns are not necessarily hard to find, but if you find these rubber pieces that go around them, yeah, it's a little different story. can get this with the flywheel on here. It's a little tricky, but not too bad. Lock tight on this screw. As I'm finishing up, guys, any questions here? Really, the next thing I need is the ignition coil, and then I can just finish this right up, and we'll have a running saw. So I'd say that's about that for the night. Should work good. Yeah, questions, comments, anything, guys? I'm sorry about the uh, the phones pooping out. Yes, uh, Bob in New York. Yes, I buy quite a bit of... Well, I have bought quite a bit of stuff from Bob. Um, the, the, the nice thing about Bob is he can just... I'll give you a good example. So I was putting together a 346 XP for um, for Bruce, the head of HL Supply. And Bruce sent me a, uh, a saw that was a donor saw that was just a pile of crap. So it needed a whole lot of stuff. And he's like, yeah, do whatever. And I'm like, okay. So um, I called up Bob and because HL Supply was not a Husky dealer at the time. Called up Bob and I said, Bob, I uh, I need a a top cover for a 346 XP. And you know, he says original or, new, or you know, I said it's the 42 millimeter. He says, okay, the one without the primer bulb. I'm like, yeah. I think it was some comment like that, <laughs> right off the top of his head. Okay, yeah, that that one. So, if you're looking for a guy that can tell you that sort of stuff, like right off the top of his head, um, Bob's the guy. So, uh, he's just such a wealth of information, I would give him as much business as possible, and I do. The thing is, now he is focusing on kind of the bigger stuff, and rather than selling little parts, um, he's definitely focusing on the bigger stuff rather than the little stuff. He still sells cylinder heads, so if you need a cylinder head and not sure what to get, call him. That's Bob at Ashokan Turf and Timber. Or Spike 60 on the forums. Is that any question, Tim? <laughs> okay, I think I'll call it. My eyes are closing. So, it's after 10 o'clock here, and, uh, yeah, I'm excited that this 394 is going to go, but, yeah, waiting on the ignition coil, it's back-ordered, so, 
Hopefully we'll get it as soon as possible. Other questions? We'll call it a night. Welcome, Cody. You guys take care. Be safe. I will... Uh, above list. That's nice. <laughs> what a pain. Um, I will hopefully be doing something tomorrow night. I just don't know what yet. Or sometime tomorrow or whatever. So uh, hopefully we'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. But you, everybody watching here looks like they're subscribers. So everybody have a good night. And uh, we'll talk to you soon.